In this video, we're gonna be talking about Vimeo OTT versus Uscreen. The point of this video is to show you the different features that are found on the two different platforms. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of streaming service you're trying to create and what specific features you're looking for in order for your dreams to come true. If you're looking for a tutorial to show you from start to finish how to create a streaming service, there's gonna be a link down below in order to see this process. And we do this with Uscreen in under 40 minutes. Let's get right into it. We're getting one question. What is the difference between Vimeo, OTT, and Uscreen? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go through this. Okay, so what I would suggest is, before we go and compare, write down for yourself, what do you need to happen for your streaming platform, okay? Before we go through this, every streaming platform has their own pros and cons. As we look at this objectively, make sure for yourself, what are you looking for? What are the things that you need to have to be successful with your streaming platform? Now we're going to look pros and cons of what the different platforms have. All right, so let's break this down. Now you already just saw, and if you need it, there's a breakdown of using Uscreen. We can do the same thing with Vimeo OTT, but let's right here look at the features and the differences. Okay, so we have Vimeo, OTT, we have Stream Bigger, transform your video content into full scale subscription service with Vimeo OTT. Okay, makes sense, right? Join 1500 channels, that's great. We handle the tech so you can focus on your content. Free migration, branded apps, in-app in purchase, live streaming, okay. So already we see a lot of things that it has. Again, Roku, it, it's saying it has Xbox, so Xbox is coming soon for you screen. Keep that in mind. Turn data into more dollars. Okay, let's just get right into the pricing in the features. Okay, so we're going to go back to back and see which one would be best for you. You screen. We went through the basics. It starts at 49 basic, 50 cents per subscriber. S subscriber. <laughs> Let me get my life together. Okay, it says plans that work with with your subscribers, okay? So right off the bat, they're showing that they have a dollar per subscriber one. So per subscriber per month, per subscriber per month. So these are two different styles, right? Again, like I was saying before, you're gonna have basic, which is gonna say, hey, guess what? You can have all these things, it's $49. $49 and we'll take 50 cents per subscriber. Vimeo is saying you can start cheaply, you can start for a dollar per subscriber. So it's, you know, more, but it's pay as you go. Bandwidth is included, free access to your web app. Okay, that's fine. Video on demand, subscription on demand. Okay, that's fine. Let's take a look if it highlights more features. Full feature list. Let's take a look. Full feature list. Let me see if I need to make this apps available. Okay, web only, and that makes sense. Okay, and they're saying this must be starter. Okay, okay, so let's take a look. Subscriptions, transactions, support, platform fees. Again, covers unlimited bandwidth, upload and transaction fees, a dollar. Advanced features, none. Okay, so that's a dollar. If I'm looking at $49 per month at the basic plan of Uscreen, I'm getting the marketing tools and the automation. I'm getting the website and bandwidth storage. That's pretty much the same. Sell your own terms on your own terms. Okay, so Vimeo and Uscreen, they're allowing you to do the basics. What I see the main highlight right here, marketing tools and automation. I have the marketing tools and automations at $49 a month. Right here, I don't see the marketing tools that I'm going to be going for that I need. So that's at the dollar. At the growth where it says everything you need to growing uh, for your growing OTT business, including apps. Okay, that's $500 a month. It's with a branded app. Okay, so you're looking at a branded app. You're starting at a minimum of $500. $500 a month. Okay, so that that's a, a lot more of an investment to do that. 
It comes with subscriptions, transactions, advertising, registration. I would like to know more about advertising and registration, what the details are. Support, dedicated support for your team. Live production services optional. So probably that's where their live streaming platform or live streaming capabilities. Live streaming starts at $3.99 at Amplify. Volume-based discounts available. Upload and transaction fees. Live events. Okay. So their live events, if I'm looking at the main difference, another tier thing, what's going on. Their live events Amplify. This would be $3.99. They start at $500. So this is going to be an extra $100 per month. And here we're looking at live chat and countdowns. I don't see that shown in the growth plan. It could be part of their advertising registration. I'd like more details. But again, that's something that you can always chat with them, see the exact details of what's going on from there. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so those are just, let, let's just stop there. So if we're looking at this, the basic one starts at 49. 49 minimum right there. And that's the annually. So if we're looking at monthly, you're looking at 99. Annually, 49. So it's cutting your price in half if you go for the annual. Let's see, am I looking at... I don't see any breakdown. If it's annual or monthly, it looks like it's the same thing from what I can tell. I don't see anything. Again... The advantage for Vimeo is you can start at a dollar, right? So you can start because it's pay as you go. So for your beginning part, it can start at a dollar. The question I would have is, as I'm scaling, I want to have options with my marketing tools, my automations. I want to scale quickly and I want to put things on autopilot. For me, I would look for validation and first pre-sell to see if I can get anyone and that way I can already have investment already up front so I can now pay to build it out on Uscreen. Or the flip side is I can build this out for 14 days, do it for free again, have those 14 days, see if I can attract and then go from there. Because I, I can start with 14 days free trial. I would already spend another two weeks even before I go into Uscreen to tell my audience or start building my audience to let them know this is what I'm planning. This is the deliverable. This is how much it's going to be. Get them on a waiting list. Start either getting them on a waiting list. I would like to see if they pay as quick as possible because I think waiting lists, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, if you had a friend or your grandma that's really supportive of what you do and then you're saying like, it's so easy. It's so easy for people to say yes, but if they don't have to put up the money, you, there can be a discrepancy. And now you're, you're like, oh my God, I had 50 people that said yes. Well, that's because they didn't have to put their money up. It's really important that you're validating with price and for people to be able to opt in with their money to see anything going forward with that. Let me know if that makes sense. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so again, let's look at this. View screen, $49 starting annually, $99 per month, keeping that in mind. I already get the marketing tools and automations and all of those things. That's going to be the main difference for me. Right here, I don't see anything or indicated that I'm going to have automation or marketing tools that allows me to accelerate. If I want to have details on the marketing tools or what it can be doing, make sure that you can go to Uscreen right now. And you can check out the platform, all the things that they do with uh, the marketing section as well. And then you can also look at their blog for further information as well. If we go over here to Uscreen Marketing, let's see about here, Marketing and Analytics. This teaches you right here, they already have the marketing integrations, gift cards, email automations, upsells, downsells, subscription tools. This allows me now to work on everything to retain my members helps me to have things to decrease my churn rate, which means people are going to not be watching or, you know, unsubscribe, things like that. It can help me with all of those things. And again, it allows me to scale quicker because I would have all those marketing tools. From what I can tell with Vimeo OTT, I do not see that available or they're not advertising that as their selling point for the starter. 
for growth at $500 a month, it looks like you do have some other features right there to help, but I don't see it clearly identified right here or easily used right here as well. That's something to keep in mind. Again, like I said at the beginning, write down the exact features and what you're looking for for your business, what you're trying to accomplish to find the right platform for you.